no, 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 Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a Coke advert tutorial this time. Today we're going to attempt to make a Coke advert tutorial inside of Cinema 4D, Octane Render, Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Um, I do have a render out on my Instagram already and we're going to attempt to make something similar to that. Um, Though, do note on that render that I have on my Instagram, I did spend quite a few days making that so I had a lot more time to refine and edit and just make sure that the imperfections and stuff were corrected. I'm going to try to do that in this tutorial. Um, obviously it won't be perfect, I do have time limits, but I'm going to try and take my time to correct it as much as possible. So I'll split this up into multiple tutorials. People don't like it when I go too fast, so I'm going to attempt to go slower and then I'll mean I have to split it up into multiple tutorials. We'll see how this goes. Um, so the first one will focus on the modeling and we'll probably get into some lighting as well as we go along with the modeling just so that we can make sure that the reflections and stuff um, are correct when modeling. Um, so it might be a bit all over the place um, but the, the overall format will be modeling first tutorial and then texturing, rendering and lighting and then the, in the second one and I might do a third one. We'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah, I do have a glass um, Coke bottle in front of me, a glass one. Um, we might try and go for the plastic one because that one does look a bit better. So we will we'll, we'll use the, the glass one that I have in front of me as reference and then just freelance um, along the way. Well, not freelance, we'll just like make it up along the way and see what looks what looks the best. So going to take our time. Like I said, this tutorial will probably be close to an hour long, um, but yeah, let's go. So the total height is about 25 centimeters um, or 20.5 centimeters. Um, so that should be the height. 21.5, sorry. And then the, t the maximum radius should be three centimeters um, or six centimeters in diameter. And that should be our starting point. So we'll start off by actually turning off the render safe here. And then we will go for 20 rotation segments. Turn on our lines here. We'll make this editable. We'll just put this axis center at the bottom and then just center this at the top to make our modeling and stuff easier. And then we'll just divide this up into different sections so that we can get the overall shape of the bottle right. So the middle section here where the graphic is, is at 9.2 and 13.3. So here we'll put a line here, 9.2 and 13.3. And then there's a curve that goes from 4.2 to 4.7, I believe. So this should be 4.2. And then we'll add another line here. So 4.2, and then this should be 4.7, like so. There's another curve at 1.8, somewhere around here. And this should be the widest part of the bottle, I believe. Um, so that'll be a good reference to have. I think another curve at the top will be at 16.1. I think that's a good place to to have a curve um, line. So 16.1. Another good place is at 13.5.5. So I'm getting a bit accurate here and it's not that necessary, but um, so five, five. So it's not that necessary to get it that accurate, um, but it's still good to have. So I think we'll actually put this at 16.3 and then have another line at 18. So here we'll put this at 18, like so. And then the top pieces here are at 20.5 and 20.6. So here we'll go 20.5 and then we'll just have another line up here at 20.6. And this is like that top bumpy part of the bottle. Ugh, up there so now we can sort of get like the overall shape in and then we'll add in the extra lines for support and detailing it a bit more so we'll start by adding some lines in here just so just so that's some support and it's a bit more of a harsher edge and then we we'll also add in a line just in the middle here as well so we can make sure that this part is straight on the bottle that i have it is curved but it looks better when it's straight when it comes to the final render in my personal opinion you can obviously um do whatever you want add your own mix to it and 
this section here is 5.2 centimeters in diameter. So this should be 5.2, 5.2. This bottom piece here should be 5.1 centimeters, like so and so. And let's save it. So I should probably have my own tutorial save location. And I think I actually do. I've done this tutorial multiple times, but I think this should be the final time. I'm really working to get this, get it right this time. So here we'll go Coke tutorial new. Cool. And then this section here should be around 3.5. Um, now it is a bit hard to measure this section, so I guess we'll go off visual reference. We'll just go off our eyesight um, when it comes to the final, um, when we adjust the stuff there. But I believe this top part should be about 2.3 or 2.4. So we'll go with 2.4. And then obviously in the, in the end, we can sort of just adjust them um, the way we feel like. So here we'll just scale all of these in like so, and I believe this part should be a bit scaled out. And I think I might actually wanna measure these properly. So this should be 2.8, like so. And then this should be 2.7, 2.7. Oops, let's just undo that, 2.7. Uh, paste, and I'm lying, it should be 2.6, like so. Then I think we'll add in another line just up here, just for support. And if I take a look at the bottle, let's just see what we're dealing with. Yeah, you know, I believe this part here should be just scaled in a bit more. So maybe if we go 1.5, enter, or let's go one. And then I can, I guess we can go ahead and smooth this out. Um, it's it's good to get the shape of it first and then add in all the extrusions and like details and stuff later. If you try and do the details first and then um, do the shape later, you'll just mess up the details and you'll run into problems. So I'm trying to get this overall shape of the bottle to look right first. And right now it doesn't look too great. So. I think I want this part here. Now we're gonna go off the actual real world, re real world reference and just go off um, what we think is good. We obviously can't measure the bottle perfectly, or at least I don't really know how to. If you do, then um, props to you, go ahead and do that. But for me, I think I actually, I think I wanna split this into two lines. Um, so I might wanna go and bevel this. And let's take a look. Maybe here I should push this up here a bit. I'm just doing this just to help with the modeling a bit. Then I should make this six as well, like so. Let's take another look. And maybe just push this down, like so. And here you can see it's a bit too fat, so I might wanna just scale this in. Scale it in a bit more. Scale it out. And then I might want to put these a bit closer together. No, let's not do that. Okay, so <clears throat> let's look at the top piece. Um, we're already having some issues here. So I think these need to be at least the same or even bigger. And then I also need to put a line here um, and we can sort of see the sort of curve that we're getting over here. So if we take another look, it looks kind of okay. Maybe if I scale this out a bit. Um, okay. I think this may need to be scaled out a bit like that. Um, just trying to see what the overall look of the final image would look like. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this top lid here because it's a bit distracting. Um, so I'm just gonna go ring selection. Just delete that. Um, this top lid here does look a bit thick. 
but it might be the, actually the way it's supposed to be. I think I'll add in another line down here. Cool. And in the real world reference, this is actually a bit thicker. So I might want to get rid of this line and then just scale these in. And then just add this line back in. I think that looks a bit better. And this section here, this curve here is what I'm a bit worried about. So I might take this line and just push it down and then scale it out. Like so, I'm trying to get more of that bodily bottle type look, that curvature, but it's not too much. And then here, I think the section here needs to scale in. We'll push this down. Cool. So now we're going off real world reference and we're just sort of seeing what would look nice as a final render. And <clears throat> yeah, I think that's all we need to do for the moment. I don't think there's much else we can really do without adding in the details and seeing what the overall thing looks like. Then if I scale this in slightly, what would that look like? The bottle does look a bit weird, not going to lie. Um, but I guess we could worry about the, the, the minor details later. I think the overall shape is what really matters right now. And I'm sort of debating what I should do with this bottom piece here because I feel like that's affecting quite a lot. I think I should scale this in a bit more. Because I really, I do want some curves and stuff on the bottle. Um, but I also want, how far do I want to extrude this is the question. I think this should go down and then in. <clears throat> like so. Cool. So I think we're getting, we're getting a very... It's getting all right. Um, I think this should maybe go in a bit more. Cool. I think that's a good base mesh. So we'll add in some details and hopefully our base mesh is good enough that we don't have to redo this. Um, so yeah, so we'll start extruding um, these edge pieces here that you'll see on the bottle. And because I want to extrude them in twos, we have to select them individually like this. So most, when I select a lot of the selection of this tutorial, I'll just be speeding through just because I want to save time in this tutorial and I won't really be talking much during those anyways. So here yeah, we'll extrude this at 0 0.1 and then we'll just do the same. We'll just repeat the same process. Let me just make sure that the caps are not ticked because that will really mess up your render later if you uh, have caps ticked. So be careful with that. Okay, so we'll just repeat the same thing here. And if you take a look at the smooth version, you can sort of see what we're going for. And I think what we need is a supporting line up here. Take another look. <clears throat> we'll go for three just so we can get a better visual understanding. And then here, we'll just select these bottom lines here. Like so, we'll push these up and then we'll scale them in like so, if we take a look, you can see now it's now, now it's getting um, smoothed out, which is what we want. And that's sort of what we want to see when it comes to the reflections in the final. So we'll just go here and change this to 90 and we'll untick edge breaks. That should help a bit of your, with your smoothing. And then what else we'll also do is maybe change this back to 40, just so we can actually see what's going on. And now what we'll do is we'll just scale everything in. And we also want to make sure that when we're scaling, we have our normal selected because we want to scale in a specific direction. And I'm looking at the real world reference here and it's actually not scaled in that far. So maybe, um, maybe I'll just go with a 80%. We'll go all the way around and then we'll see what it looks like. Cool, so now I can sort of see the shape that we're getting. That's exactly what we want when it comes to our final render. Um, but I do want these to be a bit more extruded this way because um, I really want to be able to see these reflections when it comes to the final render. It may not look real, but it looks a lot better 
um, when it comes to our reflections and our HDRI mapping and stuff that we'll be doing later. So just <clears throat> let me just um, scale these out a bit more. Just really emphasize them just so that we can see them when it comes to our final. And I think I might also want to just select these points here, these lines here, just to like scale them out as well. Just so there's a bit more of a rounding when it comes to the section. Okay, cool. So here we can go and scale these out and now it's a bit more, um, a bit more round in this section here. So that's the bottom part done. Um, this part here does look a bit, it does look like it should be a bit smoothed out, but actually when I look at the real world reference, it does look very accurate, it looks correct. So I think that part's correct over there. I might want to get rid of these lines here, um, just so that it can be a bit more smoothed out there. Um, I think I'll actually do that because I don't want this, you can see there's a slight bump here and we don't want that. So I think I'll just um, get rid of these lines um, by dissolving them. Cool, so if I get rid of these lines, you can see it smooths out, smooths out nicely. So we're just gonna repeat the same process at the top here. Top slightly different, but it's pretty much the same um, concept here, so. And then here we'll just do the same thing that we did at the bottom, extruded at point one. And then we'll just select the other pieces and repeat the same process. Okay, cool. So I'll extrude this at point one again. And if you take a look at the smooth version, you can sort of see what we're getting. Um, now you can see the top is slightly different. We have, we're running into slightly different problems, but we'll basically do the same thing that we did at the bottom and just sort of um, improvise and problem solve as we go along. So we'll start off by scaling all of these things in. Now the top part is a bit smoother when I'm looking at the real world reference. So you might go for 70% instead of 80. And I think that does look um, pretty good. So we'll just do the same with all the, all the rest of them. Cool. So now you can sort of see that we shape the shape that we're getting down here. Um, I do want this to be a bit more rounded. So what I'll do is I'll just select um, the same. We'll just do the same thing we did at the bottom. Just select all these lines here um, around this edges, and then we'll just extrude it out slightly along the edge here, like so. So I'm um, here. You can see that the axis is a bit. Oh, that's why. It's because our selection. We selected the wrong point. So here, what we just need to do is just extrude this. Not too much. You want to be careful not to do it too much, um, but just slightly, because we want that slight bump over there. And that's what we want. Now this top piece here, um, we just need to select all these points and then just flatten these out. This will be a bit more tricky, I believe, but I'm sure we can solve the issue. Um, let's just go select all these. I think if we push these down and then take a look what it looks like. It does look a bit strange. What if I got rid of those lines? Would it look a bit better? Ooh, now you can see it's starting to smooth out nicely. Um, there is a slight bump here, which is a bit strange. I think, I'm wondering, what if I got rid of these lines too? Will that look better is the question. I don't know. Um, anyway, so let's just look at the reference, the real world reference. I think it's a bit too smooth for my liking. I think I want these lines here. Maybe I'll just go and just try and harshen out all these lines here just a slight, just a tiny bit. Um, just so that we can get a bit more of hard edges here. Cool, so I'll take the subdivision weight tool and we'll just scale it out slightly, just slightly, just so we can get a bit more of harsher edges. I actually don't like that actually. I should not have done that. 
um, maybe if I just reduce the amount. So let's go here and just try something like so. Hmm. Not too sure. This section here, is that because of the weight tool? Yes, it is. So that weight tool is not going to work in this instance. I feel like the smoothed ish, the smooth um, section should be going up there and maybe that might be the problem that I'm having. But this actually could look better when it comes to the reflection. So I probably shouldn't be worrying about this too much. But I still do want this to be a bit more extruded. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll just select these lines or maybe I'll just deselect de the middle lines and just scale all of these out slightly just so it's a bit more extruded and it's not so faint. And that'll just help with the reflections and stuff when it comes to the rendering part. So let's just go and scale this outwards just slightly. Cool. Um, I think that does look pretty good. I think this section here should be pushed up a bit. Cool, so now we just need to push these up just to get a bit more of an accurate real world reference, um, real world sort of thing. And it also looks better with reflections. And then we'll do the same here and push these bottom pieces down here, down. <coughs> Cool, so now we just need to push these down. It'll help with the reflections, but that's also what I'm seeing when it comes to the real world bottle. Um, and yeah, I think that's quite accurate. There, it, These edges are a bit more harsh and it's not as rounded here in the real world one, but um, I'm trying to go for a pretty render instead of just trying to be as accurate as possible. So, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just We'll just model the lid and we'll model the graphic part and then in the next tutorial when we go with our when we start with our lighting and stuff we can just adjust the bottles model and stuff like that. So the next tutorial should be just adjusting the lighting and the, the modeling and we'll just get all the rest of it um, sorted now. So what we can do is we can call this bottle and whoops, don't know where that came from. <laughs> Uh, I, was, I copied it from another project by accident. So copy, paste, and we'll duplicate this. And then in here, what we can do is we can just select um, these rings here, like so. Mesh, command, split, and we can delete that. And then this is our graphic here. So we can just take all of this and probably just make it like 5.8. Enter, enter and this will be our graphic. Like so, we could probably give it a display tag. Um, graduated lines and let's go with isoframs. Cool, so that's our graphic. And the lid, we're not actually gonna see the lid in this render, so I'm not gonna do it, and it's very basic to do, so don't think I should waste time making that. I'll create a copy of this bottle, so this will be our bottle save. And then here I'll just add it to a new layer. Um, mesh saves, mesh saves. So we can always come back to this if we've made a mistake, um, and we can change this to a red color, just so it means don't touch. And we can just hide it from there and we can also go and lock it down. Cool. So I guess we can just do those as well. Okay. So now we can go and extrude this bottle inside, inwards. Um, select all of them. Oh, we might want to do the bottom of this. I forgot about the bottom of this. So. You won't see this, but it can influence the reflections and stuff. So I might as well, uh, we'll just take these lines here and we'll just push this up like so. And that's pretty much all that we really need to do. Might wanna add in a, another line over here. And then maybe do something like that. And then maybe just um, take these and scale these in. It depends on what you want your final bottle to look like. I think this edge here should be a bit more harsh. 
like that. And maybe I'll actually take this here and push this up so we can get some slight rounding here. I don't know. Maybe I should go 50%. I should get rid of these lines here. And then maybe get rid of this one as well. And then here I'll just go and push this up. And then here I'll just go and add any line in there. Scale this outwards like so. Cool, doesn't really matter. And then we can just go and replace this thing. So let's add this back in. And let's call this um, bottle save, delete the old one, add this new one in, lock it, and then just hide it from everything. Cool. So now we can go and extrude this inside, inwards. Um, select all these faces again. And I think we'll go with a very, very thin shape. We don't want it to be too much. It will create our caps. <clears throat> I'll just um, untick our cap so that we don't make that. Oh, never mind. Don't do that yet. Let's go right click and we will go reverse normals. And I think we'll add some lines at the top here just so that this top part is a bit more harsh. And then we'll take a look at the smooth version and see what this looks like. Cool. So now we'll just set up our scene basically just so we can see if our model actually is correct. So we'll add in a camera here. Go minus 90, zero. We will go with a portrait lens. Let's push this down here. And then we'll add in a specular material, bring up this live viewer and just check if our, our mesh is actually correct. Um, so here we need an HDRI. Like so, and here we can go and just hide this graphic. We can go 0.52. So the model does look um, correct. We'll change this to path tracing. We'll go 2000. Just drop our ray epsilon down and go 100 here. We'll go 2.2 gamma. Linear, natural response, cool. So our bottle is looking correct. So um, what we'll do, it does look at more of a plasticky bottle, but that's okay. Um, I did sort of go off the glass bottle look, and I think that might actually look better than the glass bottle in the final render. So the liquid here, there's multiple ways of doing your liquids and stuff. I found with stills, it's just easy to just rip it right off the actual bottle. So what we'll do is we'll go ring selection here. Depends on how full you want your, your liquid to go. But I think we want it to be somewhere around here-ish, that full. And then we can go select, fill selection, select these in parts here, inside parts here. We'll go commands, split, and then this will be our liquid, like so. And then what we need to do here is we need to, we don't want the, the glass and the liquid to be touching and I don't want to scale it in because then it won't be scaling correctly. So what I usually do is I just extrude it so that ways, that way it scales in, in the right direction. So I think that's far enough. Um, we don't want it to look like the liquid and the, the glass aren't touching. So that's far enough. And then what we'll do is we'll close up this hole. To do that, what I do is, let me just go optimize this. What I do is, there's some issues here. Let me just see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, let me just select this whole, ed, this row here. Maybe I can go and loop select it. I extrude this, make this zero, 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 enter, <clears throat> optimize, and our hole is closed. Now here I can go and sort of give it more of a liquidy type of look. Liquid generally is looking more like this. And I might want to add in another line here. 
cool. So if we go and make this bottle x-ray moded and take a look, now we can sort of adjust the liquid so that it f fits the bottle a bit more. So let's see, this liquid here, I think should be pushed out a bit more. And I think these lines here are sort of interfering with the organic shape that we had. So um, what I could just do is just select all of these and scale it out, but we might run into some issues. Yeah, you can see we already are. So maybe I should instead scale this in and let me try to scale these out again. No, I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Not too sure what to do about that section there. Maybe if I add in a line here, like so, and then I took these lines at the top and then scaled them out, like so, select these. No, I think I'm worrying about it. I'm worrying about it too much. So I guess we'll just leave that for now. And we'll turn off this x-ray mode. We will go back into this view. So that's our liquid. Um, let me just solo this again. Rename this to, rename this to liquid. And then here, we just need to make sure the normals are facing the right way, which they aren't. So I'll go reverse our normals. And then we shall take another look at this thing. We'll create a new specular material, add it on our liquid, and this will be our liquid. We can go and have it, give it a color, like very orangish sort of color like so and then this will be our glass and inside our glass we want to make sure our fake shadows are fake shadows are ticked and also in our liquid cool so now you can see that our bottle and stuff is pretty much pretty much done we'll fine tune in stuff in the next tutorial um, where we'll go into our texturing our lighting and the graphic texturing as well i will see you on the part two of this cook tutorial thank you for watching and goodbye